Greetings and welcome fellow employees. This week we are going to have a little look at Lethal Company in VR. So that coming right up, right after this short intro sequence. <laughs> We trust you will be a great asset to the company. Great, great asset to the company. Asset, great, great, great asset to the company. I don't know what, guys. What do you think? Does the hat look good? I mean, I just found, I just found it just recently, and uh, I kind of like it. I'm not just sure. I, it was covered in cobwebs, so I just put it into the bath and just dusted it off a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think it looks good. So, what do you think? Yay? No? Well, <laughs> well, tell me what you think about that later. I don't know. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is the first week that we've been playing around with the uh, Oculus Quest, and man, I'm having a good time. Now. I, I would have been trying to get into the... I've been trying to use several VR adapt, um, modules to try and see if I can get some of my old games to play in VR. Games like, say, Star Citizen, maybe a little bit of um, Satisfactory, and Lethal Company. Um, the application I've been trying to use is something called UEVR, which stands for Unreal Engine Virtual Reality. Or vi and yeah, UEVR, but um, I'm having a little bit of issues with it. I, I think that it's supposed to be quite good, and I've been hearing a lot of good reviews with it, but it's, well, me with my luck being a little bit temperamental on that aspect. So, when I um, I was playing a little bit of uh, Lethal Company the other, the other day, and uh, I met this uh, other YouTuber um, while I was playing online called Psycho Numpty, and we're having a pretty good time. We're having a pretty blast going in, challenging scrap, getting chased by monsters, screaming like little girls as uh, we're getting chased and harassed and um, dying several times over. But yeah, it's all good fun. And uh, I said, okay, why don't you... He does also virtual reality as well. And he bought out LC, uh, LCVR, which was Lethal Company, a module for specifically for Lethal Company. So I said, look... You do a video with your LCVR, I do a video with um, UEVR, and let's see what happens. And UCVR fell over. It didn't work. Um, so I thought, well, what the heck. One of which I, I made it my goal, my mission this week to play Unreal Company. Uh, um, Unreal Company? No, Lethal Company, yes. I made it my mission this week to play Lethal Company in VR. And what better mod to do use than the mod that was specifically designed for it, which was LC VR. So as you can see up on the screen behind me, you will need to download this mod, which is uh, R2, I'm trying to remember this now, but that's shrouded. But um, yeah, I will give links down in the description. So basically you need to download this mod once you've downloaded this mod, you then need to um, download this mod. Download this mod installer. <laughs> Sorry, it helps. This is this installer basically allows you to install mods into your Steam games uh, for the mod from the modding community. And once you've downloaded uh, this and installed it, you'll then need to download these two mods itself. So I will name them up there because I cannot remember them straight off the top of my head. And so, Editor, Editor Max, please enter the information up there so you so I can see what's going on. There you go. Okay, so once you download the, the downloader, then you download, uh, download these mods from the downloader. And yeah, once you've done that, you need to do another little ritual to actually get them to work. So to actually get them to work, you basically need to turn on your um, turn on your Quest headset, use Virtual Desktop or Quest Link to get into uh, get into your laptop, 
and then run Steam VR. I do that from the virtual desktop, so you can actually run Steam VR from within Steam itself by clicking on the icon up at the top or running the actual application. But once you've actually run Steam VR, you can then run the installer mod. Select the um, select the profile that you've created for this, and then you can basically just run mod, and then it will then run the sorry, it will run Lethal Company VR modded, <laughs> and then it will allow you to um, it, it will then continue on the uh, in, running the game in VR. And yes, me, I teamed up with Psycho Numpty to play a few odd rounds in uh, a few odd rounds in uh, in Lethal Company. We had a blast, as I said, we've been chasing around, uh, chasing around monsters, having some good time, having some fun. Um, yeah, I think I got trolled about this because I was told that you can actually grab the shotgun out of the nutcracker and if you grab the shotgun out of the nutcracker it would die so I strategically placed myself behind, the sh uh, behind some shelves uh, so I can actually run up to the nutcracker and grab the shotgun um, grab the shotgun it comes up with big grab so grab it grab it gr I'm dead. Apparently you can't grab the shotgun out of the Nutcracker's hands, even though it says grab. I think I might have been trolled a little bit by that, because yeah, I had a word with the community saying, no, you can't do that, you can't do it. Unless, I don't know, maybe you can. If you guys ever um, find out that you can grab the uh, shotgun out of the Nutcracker's hands, Please let me know down below, and I will um, inspect any videos that you uh, you show with evidence <laughs> show showing this. Because I've seen lots of YouTubers say, "Oh yeah, you can grab it out of the hands," but no one's actually ever showing that you can grab it. So I don't think you can. I think it's just the grab button is up there because when you kill the Nutcracker, you grab the shotgun anyway, and they just haven't taken it out for whilst it's inside the Nutcracker's hands. But yeah, me and Psycho Numpty played a good couple of hours and we were going to show, show you um, some of the wonderful antics that we got up to. Um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I didn't record the sound. There was no audio. So, mm, I'll let you, the, the, you're going to have to watch things like this without content. <laughs> Because you don't know what the heck's going on up there. Well, okay. I'm basically saying, oh look, we in VR, we can touch each other's heads. Yeah, that's what's going on up there. And that's my, and that's, I'm sticking to that excuse. <laughs> yeah. Quit that music, stop playing that music. <laughs> Quit it. Okay, but yeah. Uh, so over the over the course of the week, I did play a few bits of uh, Lethal Company, and as we can uh, with audio, um, but it wasn't too great. Didn't um, too well. We didn't really have too much um, incitement because you know when you get that moment when you find like uh, you've been chased down by a, um, a mask and you kill the mask, and then there's a Nutcracker that you then kill kill the Nutcracker. You grab the shotgun and you kill. You get ambushed with another nutcracker and you kill him with the shotgun. Um, when the manic moments like that happen, you're not recording. Damn it! <laughs> I had such an awesome time back there and I wasn't recording that part. But what I was recording was when someone loaded up a particular mod that basically put, basically put junk everywhere put trash everywhere and drop my frame rates down to almost zero I mean I had fun with this Jack in the Box because I, I'm not sure if it was just that the fact that he couldn't catch me or because my frame rates were so low 
the, the Drakener box. It basically, he was staring at, I, I picked up like one of 500 masks that I found on the floor and was holding my hand. I was like trying to put it on my face because I couldn't handle this lag anymore. And I just wanted to put the mask on and get me out of there. And then I got ambushed by this Jack in the Box. So it was winding up and I said, come on, bring it on. I couldn't really handle this much raw. Uh, so then he popped out, freeze. I was like, oh, I'm, come on, aren't you going to do something? And um, he did something. He returned back into the box. I don't know if that's even at all possible with the Jack in the Box. But it did. <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh, and, th and then he uh, popped out again later and I finally managed to put the mask on. But I think that was mostly down to lag, that little bug. But yeah, Lethal Company, in VR. Good. Two disembodied corpses later. We're having so much fun. And it works really well in VR. Now, I've got a whole load of other things that are going to go, uh, that's going on at the moment. But um, yeah, I'm still trying to do one video a week. Maybe about VR, maybe about uh, games that we're playing, maybe about Star Citizen, maybe something about technology, maybe something that's going on in the news. But yeah, we are still doing, uh, we're going to strive, I'm still going to strive to try to do at least one video a week to see how that goes. But yeah, hopefully it will work out well. So let me know, what do you think? To hat or not to hat? I don't know, it seems okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yay? Nay? Whatever. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed making this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys out there. <laughs>